This is a really interesting piece. Uh, I thought it was a good, hard look at the realities of the effects of human intervention in nature and what a large scale it requires to revitalize the land after these human actions have taken place. Um, the sacred landscape of the valley was captured in some really stunning cinematography to get this visual understanding for the land and a feeling for the land um, that they are discussing and attempting to protect. And I thought it was really good to, to situate us visually and historically as well, so that we have the context and we can care more. Um, I thought discussion about the importance of partnering with the community by, by groups who are attempting to do mining work or environmental work. And uh, I think that it's pieces like this with a great variety of perspectives to create the nuance of the situation will hopefully make viewers consider the contracts that they agree to in, in their cities or their land and take them seriously, but also maybe put some parameters in place of how you can protect the land. And in preserving this valley floor, you're preserving essentially the soul of this community. Now, like how this doc gave a very succinct history of the mines, tailing sites and the erosion and everything that happened with this river and the river bank in this valley and how this erosion has affected the surrounding communities. And it also focused um, on the impact of every stream and water source that feeds into this water, so it, into this valley rather. So it gives you a, a overall sense of not only how this community is impacted, but how several others are also impacted and how everything is all connected when it comes in terms of this. So it, it gave a broader perspective of how important it is for um, fundraising to be done for the restoration of, of things like this. I thought it was really impressive how they were able to restore this area. Um, it always impresses me when there are people that take it upon themselves to go out and change and reverse the environmental changes that have happened in, in instances such as this, the mining um, industry, the mining companies and what they did to the area. Um, again, beautifully shot landscapes, the water, um, interesting pictures and visuals throughout. And I thought, you know, I really like a lot of visuals to go along with facts because it helps me to understand and see the big picture and even all the small details, like how everything kind of connects uh, together. So I like the structure and the interviews. And again, the information slash content was really good. I thought... Um, it was very interesting that waste rock is toxic and had far-reaching impact. So we get this perspective of um, how it's actually hurting the earth for it to live like this and what um, has and can improve over uh, time. Um, we as humans know that our imprint on this earth uh, has... Uh, destructive tendencies and so at times we have to put in the work to restore um, <clears throat> a piece of the world in order for us to um, continue moving forward and so that's sort of exactly what we see here and what we really see is passion and care from the community itself you get uh, local members from the society really wanting to have an active part in making their home a better place not only uh, for themselves but to do what's right and I think that is what is most connective with the audience to the story is really rooting for these people wanting to be a part of this process to make this world of theirs a better place. I thought it was really fascinating perspective on nature restoration. Um, it was really interesting to hear how the different layers came together to make that happen.